we ended up spooking a mountain goat down low. Ran across the creek bottom in front of us. We continued our way to the boat that was on the shore of the ocean, which was iced over. And once we got close, scurrying across the ice, ended up falling in. We had a, seemed like a half a mile run on the icy rocks to make it to the boat. Got in the boat, started headed towards the goat in the ice. It fallen through the ice. Now it's probably been in there 15 minutes at this point. head so he doesn't pop our boat. Okay, hold up and stop. Started busting ice to get to it in the boat. Uh, finally got to it. Dan was running the boat. Clay pulled it into the boat. And we ended up taking it. I mean, it was just almost, probably almost dead at that point. Couldn't hardly move, didn't fight much. head for sure um, so no one gets stuck. Uh, He's still pretty weak. made it back to camp, went inside, warmed it up by the fire. Just let him get dry and let him go. Yeah, we'll just give him 15, 10 minutes here, just let him warm up a little bit. And he couldn't even stand when I got him on the beach. Four days, I guess. Can't fly in.
Mister. Eventually, it got some mobility back, turned it loose, and it's a happy ending. But just once in a lifetime deal to get your hands on a live mountain goat and do a rescue, so it's pretty awesome. We did a good thing today, guys. We did a good thing. Good job. Good job. Thanks for your help. <laughs>